and welcome to another episode of the Lehigh Valley Football Podcast. We're here on the banks of the Lehigh River to talk about Festival Unbound 2024. Um, I have Sam and Mary here to talk about it. So, first of all, maybe introduce yourselves and then and tell us when is Festival Unbound taking place this year. Sure. Hi, I'm Mary Wright, and Festival Unbound is taking place from October 2nd to the 6th. Mary's also the director oh. of the festival. This I'm also year. the director of the festival, but I didn't she, want to say that. She doesn't always say that, <laughs> but it's true. She's worked really hard to make it happen. We all as a company have been working really hard to make yes. it happen. So has <laughs> Sam Beadle, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm an ensemble member at Touchstone Theater and a helper with Festival Unbound and event coordinator with Festival Unbound. So tell us what is Festival Unbound and how does it inspire that creative community engagement through all of its different events? Whoa, big question. Okay, yeah. Festival Unbound is this five days of art-infused community engagement in talking about our community, what we love about it, what we want to have it look like in the future, and in particular, how do we make this a place where everybody feels welcome? And events take place not in one location. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure, they're gonna be all over the place. Like the Ice House on Sand Island. Uh, the Bethlehem Rose Garden on the west side. We're doing a dance workshop at DeSales University. Yes, there's gonna be a performance at Zollner Art Center. And right at our own home turf, Touchstone Theater, we get to finish and close out the festival with Fiesta Unbound, which is a big community hangout, block party right there. Dance Jamathon. Yes. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. We should use that from yeah. now on. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about the Tales from a Trail. It combines a guided walk with creative writing. How does this event foster both physical and creative exploration of Bethlehem's South Side? Partnering with the Delaware and Lehigh National Heritage Corridor, we are going to start at Touchstone Theater's Amphitheater on the Greenway and walk all the way to the skate park and back. And along the way, Britt from the Delaware and Lehigh National Heritage Corridor, she's going to give some educational um, information about how the greenways were created um, and how we as citizens help consider accessibility on our trails and how to, how to advocate for that and also do a cool writing prompt along the way. So by the end of it, you'll have a really neat um, poem that you've written and hopefully want to share it. And when we say all, we mean everybody. Everybody. So how, do you, how do you work to make it accessible for everybody who wants to be involved? We've been working really hard at this uh, for the last few years. And this year in particular, we've made that really a, kind of one of our big focuses um, because making art and art is this sort of embodied thought and so having people be able to participate um, physically and as well as being able to watch and think about things um, and respond to it, it's like art fills the gaps between the, the words um, and the thoughts. And so, and we are, we are physical beings. And so trying to help people find a way to really involve themselves, appreciate in whole new ways. And um, so we've been working really hard um, with folks like Lehigh Valley Center for Independent Living. Um, we've had, we have Elise Schaefer from LUAG, who's been a great uh, person helping us think through how to make, make spaces more accessible um, at all levels. And um, as well as Jackie Schwartz from the um, Lehigh Valley Arts and Cultural Alliance um, has been really, really helpful. We're, we're learning. I mean, we all have to be learning, right? It's a learning process and we've been We've been working hard at the learning. Um, and so we're, we're excited to welcome people in new ways this year, and we will keep on learning from what we learned this year. And I'm sure you'll learn from those who participate as well. They'll have yes. suggestions and all that yes. sort of stuff. I think that's one of the really cool things um, is that this really has become a two-way street. And, and like the writing prompts that we're using for the trail and for the river event are actually writing prompts that were shared with us by somebody who participated in one of our events last year. And so it, it's this nice kind of coming full circle. And it's like, we are a community. We, we make things happen. And whether it's making business happen, whether it's making industry happen, whether it's making government happen, it's making art happen. Like that's how you make community is you make, you make things happen. Mm -hmm. 
You mentioned the Reflections on a River Canoe Tour, which <laughs> is really exciting. That takes place on October 5th. It's just one of many events. Yes. But Sam, can you talk about that? This is the one I think I'm most excited about because you get to be on the water. Yeah, yeah. I love the Lehigh River. I'm a big river fan. I'm a big water fan. Uh, and so I've always wanted to do something where we got in the water. And, but how do we do that? And I was able to go on the Lehigh River Sojourn with the Wildlands Conservation and these guys right here. Here, uh, and this past June and it was so cool and I'm like how can we partner with these amazing people that are doing this great stuff and have all these canoes and expertise on the, what's going on naturally on the river and so I reached out and they were like yeah let's do something <laughs> and so we're able to get um, the Wildlands Conservation Group and they're going to be bringing 20 canoes and river guides and instructors and they're going to take us out on the Lehigh and we're going to experience the beautiful nature that is all around us here in Bethlehem and then afterwards we'll get off the river and we're going to take a walk around here and do a writing prompt so by the end of the festival you'll have a river poem and you'll have a trail poem or you know creative writing so it's just a, a way to experience nature and then reflect about it and you know, we are talking about a lot of participation, but there are some fantastic artists who will be doing performances as well. Yeah. Can you kind of talk overall uh, about that? Sure. Uh, we're really excited. We're bringing in two different uh, companies to be our artists in residence this year. One is Kinetic Light. Uh, they are a disabled um, dance ensemble out of California. Um, they create incredible pieces of dance. Everybody in the ensemble is disabled and the, t the artistic director and the lead dancer both are in wheelchairs and what they have created is stunning. Yeah. And I love the fact that it's, it's like, we talk about access and accessibility. It's not just for audiences, right? It's, it's, for, it's for, the, for the artists themselves. And, and how, do we, how do we recenter the way we look at the way we move through the world um, so that, that everybody's way of moving has a place, you know? Um, the, other, the other company that's coming is coming from England, um, Single Shoe Productions. We had them uh, at, our, at our theater a few years ago. They had the, the most fun production I have seen in a long time. I loved it. It's a husband and wife. She's Brazilian, he's American. They live in England. And this production that they've created that they're bringing here that's called A Wall Between Us um, really takes a look at that experience of of when you move places um, and the different ways that people experience it based on where they come from and and kind of takes a look at place and how does how do the people that come influence a place um, how do they change it how do they add to it how does the place change them and and we thought like what a perfect show for a festival unbound because that's what this is about right it's about this place this place that we all love mm -hmm. And we are coming up on it. You said, when does it start again? What are the dates again? October 2nd, and it ends on October 6th, and there's 12 events. Yes, 12 and events, five days. One community. One community. And if you know, oh, like you might that. be, <laughs> this might be your first time. This might be your first time hearing about um, uh, Festival Unbound. Is the best thing to, to hit up the website, look at some of the events that are on there. There's great description. There's a ton of information. You can register for some of the events that we talked about. Yeah, and some of these you're gonna wanna register soon yeah. and yeah. early, cause space is limited for some of them. There's only a few spots left for the river tour. Um, there's a decent amount left for the trail tour. Um, we also there's have, unlimited capacity for our Rose Garden event which is called Twilight with Touchstone so there'll be um, we're taking over the Rose Garden and there'll be all these different kind of installation pieces where rep where it represents where community happens like the library a pub um, a cafe all different kinds of places for you to visit along around the way the kitchen table around the kitchen table like <laughs> or, where community happens right here right yeah here. alongside a, an old um, container along the Lehigh River yeah so. We're well, really looking forward yeah. to it. I yeah. can't wait to get on the river. I'm it's going to be really great. excited. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We're coming out, and we'll see you at Festival Abound. Lehigh Valley Health Network and Jefferson Health are joining together for better for you. They're leaders in healthcare, proudly coming together to shape the future of care. By combining their strengths, their expanded network offers you greater access to nationally ranked specialists, advanced technologies and life-saving clinical trials informed by a renowned academic medical center. Jefferson and LVHN, stronger than ever for the future of healthcare. And then 
So what stuff did we not talk about? Oh my god. There's a light parade yes. as part of the touchstone yes. at Twilight. Yes. And we, we are the light. We're, 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 we're the light. And it's stargazing that same night. And it yes. happens two nights in a row. Oh. It's going to be so and, cool. Oh, and um, there's the an art show. Oh, the art show. There's, there's art show. dance workshops. Yes, there's um, dance workshops. And, uh, there's just all kinds of cool. Go to the website. You should go to the website. Go to the website. You'll find it there. It, it, oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, no, wait. Uh, uh, there's there's also going to be a ton of great stuff. A quick thank you to this episode's sponsors, Wind Creek Event Center, Michael Bernardin with Remax Realty, Molly's Irish Grill and Sports Pub, Banco Beverage Company, WDIY 88.1 FM, and of course, our friends at Lehigh Valley Health Network. Thank you so much for allowing us to continue to bring these stories to you.